What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how you can understand what users are members of what groups uh, throughout your organization without having to sit down and click through Active Directory to figure all that stuff out. So maybe you get hired onto a new job, you're a new administrator, the previous guy or gal is gone, you have no idea who's a member of what, who's an enterprise admin, who's not. So you can use the power of PowerShell to iterate through all your groups within your Active Directory and produce data that tells you what username is a member of what particular group. So I created this uh, function to do this. So basically the top part here is this is the function name, get dash get uh, group member. Uh, there's only one parameter, scope. So you have to uh, define the scope parameter. And you can do that just like this. So get dash group member dash scope and then domain local, universal, or global. So those are your uh, three group types. Now we're going to use the get ad group commandlet. I'm going to filter based on the scope as well as only groups that have members. So if there's a security group, if there's a particular group in the directory that has no members, I'm not really concerned with that. So the next piece is we're trying to keep this as efficient as possible, so I'm only going to select the name property. I'm going to pipe that to select object, and obviously I want to get the name from the get80 group commandlet. And this piece here, this hash table, is where you actually get the group members. So I'm basically creating a column heading named group members. I'm going to use this expression, the get80 group member. I'm going to set the identity to each object as it comes through the pipeline. I only want to select the SAM account name, which is the username. Uh, by default, this will come back in object form. So I want this in a string format, so I'm going to expand that property. So that's going to give me a, a string of usernames separated by comma, which will work just fine, but I would prefer uh, the output to be in a tabular format. So I'm going to use the join operator to combine uh, that string of names and then I'm going to replace the comma with a new line. So it's going to put username on one line, username on the next line, etc. And then down here is just some output options. You could change all this uh, depending on how you want to look at it. So here is the basic format. Get dash group member, set the scope property, and in this instance I'm going to set it to global. So there's the outgrid view of my two global groups same output in the console and somewhere in here I have there's my groups CSV file so you could easily spit out all the users in all groups and then use Excel to search who or what you're looking for and it's the same use case for the other group types so these are my domain local groups and universal uh, or theoretically, you could take the scope out and just run it on all groups. Probably not a good idea if you're in a large organization that has, you know, hundreds of groups in your directory. So uh, be wary of that, what kind of load you're putting on your domain controllers as you're running this thing. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you get some use out of this code. As always, you can download it from SignalWarrant.com, and I appreciate you stopping by and watching. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down too. I'm cool with that too. Uh, if you have a question or video request, you can contact me on the social media links below. And again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.